Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video, man. It feels good to be back doing these types of videos. I miss these videos. These were like my 2K20 video vibes, and I miss them a lot. So I, I'm, I'm happy to be back doing these types of videos here and there. But listen, can, can y'all do me a favor? Comment on the video right now. Which game is better, current gen or next gen? And just give me one reason why, all right? Current gen or next gen. But today, we're back on current gen, and we are reuniting one of the best big threes that we've ever seen we got to give them that credit they pulled off the greatest comeback in nba finals history of course we're talking about the 2016 cavaliers now representing kyrie irving we got my boy iq contain on his playmaking shot creator 6-3 playmaking shot creator you know hall of fame playmaking hall of fame shooting just a kyrie type build then we got my boy jd on his stretch four six foot eight Pretty good Kevin Love, you know, pretty decent defense, rebounding type of build, but really just a big player that could stretch the floor. And then, of course, we got the one and only facilitating finisher build that you guys love, my LeBron James build. We got this big three back together, man. Drop a like on the video. We're heading over to the 3v3 rush. Let's get right into it. So, of course, this big three split up. You know, we got LeBron James, four-time champion, the reigning finals MVP. Of course, he's with the Lakers now. My Lakers, my beloved Lakers. And we're so happy to have LeBron. But, like I said, these guys split up. So, we got LeBron on the Lakers. We got Kevin Love still with the Cavs, which... It looks like he might get, I don't know. It looks like he might be moving on. And then we got Kyrie with the Brooklyn Nets, who damn near might be the best team in the NBA right now. They are looking very, very dangerous. So we reunited them here. We're going to play the 3v3 rush together. Game number one. Let's do it. So it's current gen, 3v3 rush. I already know what to expect. You guys, you guys already know what to expect. You're going to see a whole bunch of play shots because that's all people use on this game. And as you can see, the first dude with the, the drippy face scan and the tattoos and just the super try hard, you know, look of his spy player, it's a play shot. And of course, they got an inside center and then they got a lockdown. So they got a really, really, you know, I guess you could call it comp lineup. And we are out here with Kyrie, LeBron. Kevin Love, let's get right into it, all right? So he's already working the crab with the curry slides and stuff because you're not going to get bump stolen on current gen. Look, at, I mean, next gen, that's probably a bump steal, but look, he pulls up, it's white, contested, and he makes it. Now, this is where you play it right out of the rim. Kyrie's going to shoot. He misses. Kevin Love with the board. Kyrie on the off-ball decks. He's not going to miss two in a row. That's cash. Tied up at three apiece. Dot corner. I'm there on the contest. The one thing I'll say about current gen, bro, is the defense feels way better than next gen because on next gen you got ghost contests out here you really have to get a hand in somebody's face to get a contest but six to three he's working the crab dribble yet again beautiful execution not gonna lie six to six Kyrie off my screen curry slide pulls up himself nine to six so it's just a battle of the play shots right now but don't worry LeBron and Kevin Love are going to get involved. Look at the beautiful rotations on defense. I get the 100% contest. K-Love with the rebound out to Kyrie. I'm going to set a little screen for Kyrie. Slip it. Roll. Catch it. 360 alley-oop. Look at Kevin Love, man. He's so inspirational. Just spotting up in the corner wide open while LeBron and Kyrie just do their thing and don't give it to him, man. What a guy. Down by five. Our opponents need a bucket. He's going to speed glitch. I help a little bit too much. Dots the lockdown in the corner. Great shot. But right off the made basket. Kick it out. Kyrie. I'm going to set him a little screen. Try to roll again. It's not really there. He dots Kevin Love wide open. Big greens. Come on. We got to get Kevin Love involved a little bit. Shot clock ticking down. We got him in a bad situation with a five-point lead. He's going to have to chuck something up. Not going to go. Kevin Love rebound. Kyrie wide open. 17 to 9. Just like that. LeBron on the ISO. Speed glitch. Draw the help. Kick it corner. Kevin Love. Flexible release. Hall of Fame. Baby, that's all you need. Again, on the ISO. Can't guard me. Draw the help. Dot Kevin Love. Flexible release Hall of Fame, baby. That's all you need. Game number one in the books. First W on to game two. So game number two comes, and I didn't even realize this was possible, but all three of our opponents quit out of the game. So we're playing straight AI players. Normally, I wouldn't even show you guys this, but look, the power of editing. Game 2 of 3v3 Rush, and we have the best build on NBA 2K21. Kyrie Irving, 4 feet behind the line, pull up, off dribble, green, LeBron James, speed glitch, blow by, double puck, Hall of Fame, showtime, alley-oop 360, same dunk as last game. LeBron James, Kyrie Irving, Kevin Love, they will dominate any team in 3v3. 
See, this is why you can't believe anything that these people post on the internet, bro. Whether it's 2K or real life, I mean, people are just straight lying. You would have never have even known that I was playing against straight computers that game. You could just edit it and make it look like anything you want. But anyways, game number three, check it out. Ali Oop started off, Kyrie to LeBron. But check this out. Game three, I'm going to be honest with you. It wasn't hard at all. It was a play shot and two paint beasts. So they were just paint mashing like that all game. So it was pretty easy. But look it. The speed glitch, I'm not going to lie. I know it's not supposed to be in the game, but it's really, really fun to do. To just speed glitch and blow past people and get dunks or speed glitch and shoot threes. It's a lot of fun, but check it out. Snatch it back, step it back, hezzy, run in. I didn't even speed glitch that time. I played normal, but for the most part, this game was pretty easy. You see it's 9-2, Kyrie pulling up off dribble. I'm not going to lie, bro. This dude IQ is different. This dude IQ is different on this current gen game. But anyways, Kyrie yet again off dribble in this dude's face. And that's going to do it. All right, y'all get it. All right. Game number three was pretty easy. But game number four is when they match you up with another team that's actually won three games as well. So it's an actual like finals. It's a rush event finals. Both teams have three wins and you're playing each other to try to win the event. So we got the NBA finals. Y'all know what these dudes did in the NBA finals together? Came back from 3-1 down. And I'm going to tell you right now, this last game is the best game of them all. We got two play shots and a paint piece straight up sweat lineup. We got a proper finals matchup for you. Here we go. 3v3 rush event finals, y'all know the vibes. We got LeBron, Kyrie, Kevin Love, and we're taking on, like I said, two play shots and a paint beast. So they got probably the best like lineup for this game mode because it's half court. If it was full court, you probably want that lockdown in there, but it's half court. Two play shots and a paint beast, that's a very, very dangerous lineup. Every time the ball goes through the net, catch it, throw it out on the decks, shoot open threes. We got to lock in and close this thing out. Go 4-0. First try in the 3v3 rush. Let's get right into it, man. And off the first possession, they do something that we're not expecting at all. They got two play shots, so you think they're going to shoot a bunch of threes. But check it out. Throws it in. He's going to throw it back. He's going to hold it for a second. I don't know what the game plan is, but they're going to throw it to the paint beast. And look at this. Catch it, and he's just going to rim run. He gets a blow-by animation gets a dunk. Well, right off the next inbounds, IQ throws it to me. I throw it right back. That's off Hall of Fame Dimer. That's automatic, so threes are worth more than twos. We got a one-point lead. Now, I love how fast-paced the gameplay is on this half-court stuff because as soon as it goes through the hoop, you just play it. This dude smacks a white, so they're up 5-3. to three. I set a screen. IQ quick stop. Pull up. 6-5 R lead. Again, I just love how fast paced it is. So we're back on defense immediately. No checkup, no downtime, nothing. I guard the rat really well. He's going to end up having to pass the ball because he's boxed. Now check this out. I bait him into it. Throws the pass. I get the steal. Throw it over to Kyrie. Reset. We're up by one. He gets fouled. Here we go off the inbounds. He's going to throw it over to Kevin Love. Wide open in the corner. Bang. We get a stop. Next inbounds, Kyrie. LeBron. Ball fake. Drive in. I got a it's mouse in the house. But let's take a break from the action. And this is the type of stuff that'll drive you crazy about 2K. This guy throws a pass. Kyrie tips it. He grabs the loose ball, and they call a travel, and he gets a turnover. Only in 2K, man. That is literally one of the worst things I've ever seen. But back to this intense finals matchup. Kyrie pulls up off dribble from Limitless. And I'm going to be honest, yeah, this game's pretty much over, bro. 14 to 5. This guy drives in, gets a nice little windmill. But this Cavs big three is just too much to handle. You step up on Kyrie. He lobs it, LeBron, for the easy dunk right off the inbounds. We're already boxing this little quick pass out stuff they're trying to do. They're setting two play shots. They're setting screens for each other. That's boxed up. We get the steal. Kyrie to LeBron. I'm going to pull it out. I don't, I don't even want to score off the roll. We're going to ISO it up. Drive in. Go to the easy lay-in. And we're one stop away from winning the game. This guy's going to pump fake, throw it over. Thinks he's got an open shot. I close out. I'm there. He ends up making it. 18 to 10. K-Love out to LeBron. Check it out, man. Kyrie off dribble. Half court green. Shout out to IQ. Shout out to JD for helping me make the video, man. Kevin Love, LeBron James, Kyrie Irving all reunited on the current gen. 3v3 rush. I'm not going to lie. I like this event. I like the half court. I like the pace of it. I like the fact there's no downtime. It's just, you know, one basket into the next, into the next. No checkup, nothing. As you can see, that's our fourth win. Yes, it's another rush event. I know these are not the most difficult events to win. They're actually pretty easy. But, uh, yeah, that was my attempt at making this entertaining. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. I'll catch you on the next one. I'm out. Peace.